Hey folks, I'm Dailyfix and welcome to the Split Warlord campaign. Now we're currently flying back to that circular station of mine because I have... Well, I've made an expansion and right now we would be able to process clay pharonics. Uh, I just want to give you a quick update on how it's going right now. I'm in the midst of... Well, really trying to sort out my resources. Uh, it's been... Well, it's, it's been a task. It really has been a task. Because this station does consume quite a... Well, healthy amount. Um, for helium, we are... I'm still... Like I said, 4,800. That's not that much. Silicon also. Autopilot apparently failed, which is... Not really epic anymore. It's starting to be very much normal that it does that. So I do tend to make sure that I'll have an hour worth of resources going into my factory. And I do need to make sure that we do not accidentally buy. What the hell is going on? So, anyways, so this monster, this monster is, uh, ooh, that's loud, is what I have made. So, let's stop those engines because, like I said, they're quite loud. And there you go. <laughs> I still, I still really like it. Now, I didn't get the overwhelming responses I thought I would be getting. That That's fair for me to assess. Uh, but still, I think it looks quite nice. It's a small city block by itself. And I'm like, yeah, maybe we can do this with the POS. Because at some point, we do actually need to get into a Genesis mission and some of the other missions to really create a bit more spice into the series because while well, the Xenon they they're not really trying they have not actually they it's been so sad so sad how they have been behaving and I expected so much more of them there's still this dam station they're not even building it like Every now and then they send in a ship to deal with it. There was a bit of a fight over here, but yeah, it seems like the split did very much so recover. But that doesn't mean that we can be idle. Uh, like I said, we're building some of the weverins to go and do the mining over here. We will be scanning your inventory. And then these guys are just going to be assigned to this high-tech factory which is i think what we would potentially just name it because it is a bit of everything so let's just get rid of this high-tech factory one what i think we could do with this is eventually make this to be our mega factory I never had a mega factory and having one would, well, be interesting for me at least. Uh, also, because everything is so near to each other, we could potentially just remove the, uh, the ore hub and just assign it over here as well. Just to have uh, the mining ships provide to this specific station and whatever is left in bulk we could still sell off and while i'm saying that that actually does sound like not a bad thing to do um currently we can just set this up to be we'll buy up right now uh 4800 uh and then once we start mining here we can actually sell yeah i think i do want to do that so, why not? Well, as long as these other factories aren't running, there is a problem. I do not know how much goods we require. And I 
really dislike uh, not knowing that. But this base has been great. Well, we could start up a actual trade station over here. Now, I've been thinking about trade stations quite a bit and how we want to uh, proceed with them. We know that with a good faction, uh, of, uh, with a good manager, you have five jumps that you can make, and the one in here is actually not very badly placed, considering it would be one, two, three, four, five. Well, I say that, I might actually want to remove it. I used to love the position of the POS in Grand Exchange because Grand Exchange is somewhat the center of the galaxy, I believe. As you can see, it's 0, 0.0 in that corner. And from over here, you could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way over there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to open market. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There is a lot of room for us to actually expand into that. So if we could place our trade station into a position where it would be possible for him to cover a larger region well of course with the exception of the Argon Federation because they kind of hate me but we could start helping other factions and hopefully at some point uh, I'm, when we have beaten the Argon Federation and Stuff like that, because that is absolutely the goal, right? The goal is the Argon Federation. Like, this is the main objection. Uh, object. Oh, up. Wow, how do you say that? Um, objective. Yeah, that, that's the word. Objective, and then we can move on. But also, from open, open market, I can go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think open market is where we want that trade up. One, two, three, four, five. Now, we cannot count the POS. Therefore, we have the Genesis mission, right? So, at some point, we'll move the POS. Is that an attack? Oh, yeah, that's not really an attack. Hmm. Open market should be the location of our very first trade station. And we can start trading with the Taladi. As well as the uh, free families. We could also use the station to build the same station over here. But then with the free families. Make the station self-efficient. So say, just, just bear with me, okay? Say this station provides you with everything you need. And also provides you with the means of building ships then this station would be a forward, well actually not really a forward operation base. You would want to have a base that produces ships near the front line, so you can actually replenish those losses. With all of the modules attached to the factory, there is a normal, there, there's actually a high demand for workforce, and building ships require you to have well, pilots, and that requires you to have workforce. So, I kind of want this station at some point to have everything it needs to produce us a fleet. That would be the goal for us. And that is, right now it's just uh, hull parts and then claytronics. Eventually we'll have rings that... Uh, do several things. But yeah, that, that, that's, that's a bit of the, the thing that I've been um, thinking about. Also, we need to go to the free families because we actually have a relationship of 20 with them right now. Still, I know you might, might not all like it. I quite like the design. And apparently the Taladi also have a good design. Anyways, uh, let's quickly take a look if the trader is done. No, he is not. So how do we go about dealing with this? He would have to go. What, what's the level of this guy? Four. What is the highest level manager we have? 
Oh, also the promotion with the Taladi? Seriously? Yeah, plus 10. Nice. Oh, I do want to go and check out the, um, the blueprints of them. Anyways. Manager. Okay, so in the Mining Distribution 2, we almost have a 5 star. So what I want to do is eventually like replace them. Move them around. And these forward operation, uh, they need a 5 star. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That is what we'll do. We're going to be removing this base. Now we might not remove it right now. But I'm going to be using the resources from this station. To build our very first trade station here in open market. There's not a lot of Argon Federation guys around. So I think that would be quite nice to do. So why don't I quickly start a blueprint over there. Assign all of these guys to work at the... Um, what's it called again? The High Tech Factory 1. And see if I can sort out my economy a bit. Okay, so we found ourselves back here in Family Zin. Where a lot of the assaults on the Patriarch have been coming from um, this particular system. Uh, the Tarkas Cascade. I kind of want to do a peek to see uh, what is currently in there. Uh, which, which potentially is going to be a nightmare. Um, but I do want to try and take a quick look now so far what i've done is i've started to um demolish this base it's no longer a storage base we're not longer selling over there and i started building well actually I, st I got the design and there's a thing with that so i realized when i was taking a look at this that we had these placed backwards because right now you can see that the weapons are on this side. And I have all of them. I have to point them, them inwards. Which is kind of stupid. You want to make sure you don't do that. So don't be like me. Um, and I kind of do want to make sure that this is... Tra oh wait. This is that's, this is the wrong one. Uh, confirm that. Make sure you save those plans. So when you start building more of these. You don't don't really have to do the same thing over and over again. I also set up the Claytronics and the Hull parts to be created by my own faction. So even though I did put in 5 million, uh, we will not be spending a dime on that. So let us um. take a quick look at this. Now I want to make sure that I go full throttle. Ah... <sighs> So here we go. Jump gate. 15 Cascade. kilometers should be enough for us to get in there. The problem here is if this goes wrong, we lose the ship. But let's hope that this won't go wrong and we can find a place to sit the ship down, check it out, see what's around us. Come on, man. I need more speed than that. Alright, let's see. Hazardous reentry Actually, system. Arcus Cascade. there is a few small clusters so far. You have three subordinates, which is... Let's stop the ship. Let's do a quick long-range scan. See what's around us. There is an unknown base. Oh, wow. Some laser towers. Interesting. What kind of a base is that? Unknown station. Well, that's not an unknown station. It's a defensive base. Oh, that's going to be nasty. I'm quite curious to see how... The Xenon are going to be responding to my presence. Of course, there is one of them. He's going to get full blonde 
force of us because why not? Danger. Hazardous region detected. Yeah, and the hazardous region region is right over here, I think. Let's take a quick look because we got ourselves some flag cannons. So they should do very, very good against these guys. As long as we don't see a K coming in. I think we should do fine against these guys. What's that? K. That's a dead K. I don't mind dead Ks. Dead Ks can stay. Plasma turret starting to fire. On this fella over there. Maybe we want to make sure we start moving around. Like there's another gate, right? That's not the same. Oh, and actually that's the gate that we're trying maybe to go. I'm also here for the loot. Now there's a lot of ships heading our way. Danger. So we might just want to start moving. Towards the gate. Because there is a whole damn flock of them. I don't want to take my chances too much. Eventually they'll get me, right? <laughs> oh, you can bet your ass on that. Come on. Hey, stop. That's how far I want to go. So Jump what's... Gate. That's a quite Six. a distance. Let's start moving. Let's see how they'll do. Seems that they don't attack me. What is this guy doing? He is not going to come home. That's one crew you will never see back. He's going to uh, Hatikvas territory. <laughs> That's problematic. Oh, man. Okay, we do want to keep Tractor on. If possible. See what we can drag in. I also want to wait with the gate for a while. Jump gate. 19, Seven. huh? That's fine. Oh, what's that? Gladius. Oh, Terrence. Okay, okay, that's cool. Sure, you 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 can be here. These guys are where do you mining? Jump gate. Family. Zin. Well, so far, there is no need for me to get out of this position. So what do we have? Large amount of ships coming in. Seems like they've all been burning through their shields. Not that I mind. Danger. Hazardous region detected. That is an annoying message that I wished we could turn off by now. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Damn. Now, I'm here for the loot. Because we need to upgrade the rest of our weapons. Container. That we don't need. GI. Oh, that's actually not too bad. No, nothing interesting so far. Which is a bit of a shame, but that's fine. Uh, let's move forward. Seems that some of these ships are still... Moving towards the gate. Um. And I want to make sure they're focused on me. Yeah, we need more... We need more rattlesnakes uh, rattle to deal with this. Oh, I love that. Oh, that looks so damn good. If I let the AI do it, he might actually level up the pilot. Oh, we need leveling up pilots. Oh, what am I doing? Stop that. Come here. Pilot. I'll babysit this guy. He is a one and a half star. High ass morale. Used to be an engineer. Wait and wait. Okay. You're just going to wait over here, mate. Uh, removal orders and assignments. Holy crap, what's all of this? Yeah, we'll just wait. Once we see a K, I might actually want to move 
right over there. Just making sure that we, if possible, if we need to, Danger. can get the heck out of here. Region detected. Okay, you go, girl. Man. You can do it. Now, what's going on with this? It seems like we are starting to get all of the resources we need. So let's take a quick look. So that's all working right now. We need to keep that. We need... Oh, one of my dogs having a nightmare. Oh, buddy. Energy cells. Okay, we definitely need more of these. Also, when you create a factory like this, there's one thing you want to make sure you do. And that is make sure that every buy offer you have is set to private. Otherwise, he is going to be Danger. extremely annoying. And we don't need that. So, we'll sell 2340. Uh, so, we still do not have enough. Or, they will keep, keep filling this up. Uh, and once we have enough, I'm starting to potentially remove a few pilots or a few ships. Uh, move them elsewhere. Okay, all of this working. It is. Okay, what do we need? 1425. That looks good. Uh, 3600. The rest can be sold. Hello. 212. So, a change of uh, shifts, I guess. Uh, 6,700, okay. Quantum tubes. 800. 1280. And that's fine. Now, I'm debating whether or not I should remove my trading Danger. ships. Hazardous but these guys are doing their best. I'm thinking they might potentially be distributing this particular. Yeah, there we go. Yep, that looks very, very nice. We're starting to definitely use our own resources. The mining distribution up, uh, just to make sure I don't forget, is going to be renamed to X. That's usually the call sign I have for destroying a station. That can be removed. Okay, it seems that we still need a solid 10 minutes to break that down. Also, this guy, what have you been doing? Should we just set him on a protect? Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to tell you... To protect position... Make sure you click that. That's Danger. 40 km. That's too After much. Set it to 20. That's way better. That's better. Let him do whatever. Let him just... Oh, he already... Look at that. He was two and a half. Currently, almost a two star. So, if we can get more three stars out of this, then I would be extremely pleased. We could also use him as a carrier. We have room for ten small fighters. We have the money. Do we dare do it? I think we do. I think we do. Buy ships. So I've been looking into like what kind of a design I would like it to be. And I've seen the AI really Danger. enjoy Hazardous using the detected. nutrient gathering. At least one plasma cannon. And just for fun's sakes, let's get some tower accelerators on this bad boy as well. So that would be the weapons. Let's go to engines. Now, we need combat engines. Doesn't need to be the best. Just need to be combat engines. Combat. Best shields. Uh, docking 2. Basic targeting. Don't really need trading. Actually don't even need docking mark 1. 
well, docking mark one should be enough. Let's see if we can actually keep this below a million. Get some uh, some of these, but I know we don't use them. Get a pilot. Danger. Hazardous region detected. There you go. Advanced electronics is still a huge problem. Um, this needs to be turned off. Sector activities. And call this... Uh, cheap no uh basic fighter basic fighter and let's buy 10 i'm not sure when they will be ready but one thing i do know and that is we want to hold on to them until we can fill this up there's no point sending a fighter out here because it will just get himself killed. And it also seems there is a fight going on over here. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Interesting. That is pro Yeah, defensive base. Huh? What's over here? Another defensive. Wow, they really don't want to lose this. I don't want to take the system. We could potentially also go in here. See what's, uh, what's the deal with that? So, yeah, this pilot is going to be Man. upwards. I'm hoping to a free star at some point so we can replace it with a new pilot and then expand our trade fleet. That is the goal. Oh, hello. Now, what? Do you think you Danger. are about Hazardous to do, mate? Detected. No, don't tell me you're actually... What are you doing? Hello. Hello. Wow. I never thought they would have 120 marines on board. And he's attacking a... Xenon Saboteur T... That's an expensive ship to lose, uh, dear Patriarch. Interesting choice. So, also, uh, been on the seat. We're, we're really filling up the uh, the high tech factory, which is great. Um, the Chimeras are starting to be built. So, I'm thinking the following, guys. When these are done, what are you doing? Danger. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you here? Okay. So when we have those ships, we are going to start saving up for a second rattlesnake. I think it needs to happen. I kind of want to have three in a fleet just to deal with a K. Because, well, we know they will be coming at some point. And the more firepower we have, the better the chances that we actually survive. So, yeah, we do need to start saving for multiple battleships. Hopefully this station is going to be a blessing. Because right now, I'm not too sure yet. Um, we have 7,000 hull parts in here. The prices are... Quite high. So, Danger. yeah. We might need to Hazardous actually have to detected. lower this cargo space in order to get the price down. But once it starts rolling, it will start rolling. And also the hull parts we will just use with our own ships for our own station. So, yeah, that figures. that You kind of want to make sure you get the heck out of there. And, uh, wait, are you joking? Why? Oh, uh, well, whatever. Do not question the AI, the AI any more than we used to. Okay, four more crime mirrors. I think I want these guys. 
the intercept for commander. Now, intercepting for commander from what I hope it will do is targeting Danger. small ships Hazardous and not the large ships. This can close. This is selling, I'm hoping. Yeah, we could try to take this. It's not really what I want to make my priority right now. Yeah, also, uh, what I like about this feature right now is that the build storage will, ch will just stay there. It won't go away. So we have a good amount of Claytronics and hull parts over here, which we... Well, actually, which I am going to be moving across because it's, it's, it's no fun Danger. for you guys. And I'm already thinking that this episode might be like, mm, you know... Quite on the line of like how much you guys can are you are, are willing to take from me, but uh, it is a necessary step. So this is what I hope to do. By the next episode, I hope this trade station is done and I hope this will be gone. I hope to have enough money to get a second rattlesnake, and then. Slowly but surely, trying to take down one of the defensive bases. And slowly just move and clear this system. Now, I want this system because it has a lot of silicon, has a good amount of ore, has some hydrogen. Also, it's neighboring Antiquas Choice, and I want to have a big ass. Major. Big ass, uh, how do you call them again? Uh, defensive stations over there. Just to make sure the Argon Federation doesn't try anything funny. And I do want to, ho to see her leveled up. And it's not as fast as I hoped it would be. But oh well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I love seeing those turrets go. Anyways, guys. Um, that... I think is the Raptor. Do we go there? Do we go there? Well, I'll go take a peek and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.